one, Henry from Smoky Hills Outdoor Store and GoIceFish.com. Here with a guy that knows how to do things in an ice castle, Scott. Uh, Scott, thanks for helping out. Yep. So we're going to be installing um, some blinds. And uh, these blinds are available in brown and gray. And uh, they're really, really simple to do. Um, it's probably going to take us less than an hour to do this entire house. And um, let me show you what comes in the box. So the first thing, you're obviously going to get the blind itself in, in the color that you need. You're going to have these little um, tighteners that's going to keep everything tight on the blind. You're going to have some brackets. And I'll show you that these brackets can be mounted a couple of different ways. And you're going to have some screws in there. Now, if it's the large picture window blind, you will have three of these brackets. If it's anything smaller, two would probably work. Now, if we come up here to where we're going to install them, you'll be able to see that we can do two things. We can install the bracket on the inside, like so, or we can install the bracket on the outside. So there's different ways that you can install the bracket. So there's five window sizes. So what I want everybody to do, if you want to order these online, measure your window, not the blind size. And you'll see we have both there. We have the blind size and the window size. But go by the five standard windows that you find in ice gas or fish houses. And um, yeah, I think let's uh, start with one of these. So Scott, you pre-drilled. Yep. We're pre going to go. How far do you usually want to start from the sides? I typically try to stay about an inch to two inches in from either end. And then I find a happy center, measure in, basically find your center and go, go there. Okay. So if you're going to do a blind with just two brackets, you're going to just do the two inches from the sides? I would do typically two to, two to three inches. Okay. It, it depends on the size of the blind, obviously, but being as you have a center support here on this, this bigger one, I try and stay out to the edge a little bit more. Okay. Makes sense. So let's get that first bracket going in there. So you're putting it on the inside and just show us which way do we want that bracket to be sitting. Do you want this bracket to be sitting just like this? We'll go on just like so. We pre-drilled our holes to make it a little bit easier so that the cedar doesn't crack. And there you go. One bracket in. Okay, I'm going to have uh, have him do the rest of those and let's get the blind up. Okay, so Scott's got all three of the brackets in and he's now going to snap this in. It's as simple as pivoting. You want to show us how to do that, Scott? Yep. See, so you just take here. And there's a little groove right here. It slides into this little notch right there. I typically start in the center here and I will snap that in and come to the other end. Snap, snap, adjust it a little bit and final snap. Okay, pretty simple. So now what do we do with the actual adjusters? This here is your adjuster, this is your tensioner, obviously to keep the blind up. So we just take this here, place a screw in the center of it, pull it down to the bottom of the window typically, pull your string so that your blind is tight, and then just screw it in. Do you want the strings to be the same length typically? Typically you, you try to keep them even, so that there's an even tension on the whole blind itself. Okay, let's do the other side. Go. Ooh, that one might be a little tight. And again, you just loosen up your screw, readjust your string, tighten it back up, which tightens the string, and there you go. Looking pretty good. Yeah, it's a matter of. The nice thing about these blinds are definitely the fact that they don't bounce around. And with the adjusters, you can adjust them because not everything is going to be exactly in the same spot. So pretty simple to do. These blinds do ship for free from GoIceFish.com. Just go and look for the five different sizes. Uh, we'll have the brown and the gray available really soon. And we hope you have an awesome fall season and uh, we'll see you on the ice soon. Thank you.